Bills, Giants. Bills opened up at minus two and a half. Now there's one and a halfs on the board. I, I mean, this... I, what? what? I, this just makes no sense to me. The Giants are a bad football team. They have Saquon and nobody else. Now, Josh Allen, if you don't want to trust Josh Allen, I get it. You know, he struggled with accuracy in college. Those quarterbacks that struggle with accuracy in college, they don't figure it out in the NFL. I get it. But the Bills should win this. The Jets are a much better team on paper than the Giants. And, you know, Dak Prescott, whom I think is just pretty much a game manager, tore the Giants' D up. I mean, you have to be a bad football team to give Dak Prescott a perfect passer rating. Why are the Giants taking money here? Am I... Am I the public that's going to lose in week two? Because that's historically what I do. I see the Bills here as a, as a spot I want. I could see it, and I could see exactly what you're talking about here. This, and maybe the only principle that we get back to is what we just talked about. Detroit, Jimmy, 0-1 football team looking ahead to 0-2 versus a 1-0 team. Maybe the pressure's a little bit off. But when I look at the New York Giants, and completely different than like when I look at like the Miami Dolphins or some teams that get boat raised, because I was real close to being looking like an idiot on Sunday when I was going to tweet out during the 4 o'clock games, I think we can all agree Arizona is atrocious and so are the Miami Dolphins. Then the Arizona, you know, Cardinals come back and get a push or excuse me, get a tie in that football game. But when you look at the Giants, Jimmy, and we just break the game down as we watch with the Dallas Cowboys, the Giants don't have anybody on the defensive line, zero playmakers. The Giants don't have anybody at linebackers, zero playmakers. The Giants don't have anybody in the secondary, zero playmakers. When I look at that, how can you bet that football team? We know how good Saquon Barkley is. I get it. You don't have very many playmakers whatsoever. Now, Ingram is a pretty good tight end and athletic. He's, he can do some damage. But at the wide receiver position, if you still had Odell Beckham Jr., how crazy he is, he can run really fast in a straight line and open up a lot of the stuff over the middle. If I'm looking at a football team, and I'm not a big fan yet of the Buffalo Bills offense. I think they'll get it together. But Buffalo does have playmakers on their football team when the Giants have one or two, period. If this line is going to stay in that level, right now, even though you want to overreact week two, how are you betting the Giants? Are you just, I, well, they look good in the preseason. But when it really shows up and you play your stars versus your stars, the Giants don't have any stars. Exactly. Exactly. And I, I just, it's perplexing. I just, I don't know how to do this. Dennis Cloak says Bills are on their second away game. Teams that have two straight games, away games to open the season tend to not cover the second game. I hear that. Ski Profit just in. Patriots traded Demarius Thomas to the Jets. Wow. Big, big, big move. David Jung Young says uh, Donnie looks like Thanos. I, if it's not sports, I don't know what it is. <laughs> so I don't know what that is. So I can't. Uh, Marku uh, Thierry says Giants team total under 21 and a half. That makes sense to me. That team total under 21 and a half. That makes sense to me. Uh, but at this point, I want the Chargers and the Bills on my card. But as we know, you sit around with weak or road favorites in the early weeks of the season, you're going to have a negative ROI. You're going to have a negative ROI. 